Hope you enjoyed the last video where we stripped down a brake pump. In this one, we're going to reassemble it after having everything cleaned thoroughly. Apart from fitting new seal kits and springs and making sure that all the components of the pump are really clean, another process that you have to do is flatten off the bottom of this non-return valve. You also need to do that with the washer that sits underneath the non-return valve. To do this, I'm just lapping it in on some 1500 grit wet and dry paper on a flat surface. So now we're just going to assemble the non-return valve. That's the actual valve part going in. The spring. And the end stop. With lining up the end stop, I like to lift the valve. And then you can push the end stop over the end of the valve. And that centralizes it all. Then you can push it down below where the circlip has to go. You've got to hold your finger down just to make sure it doesn't come out of place. Just make sure that circlip's in properly. So here's the brake pump housing in the brake pump tool. First thing to go in is the internal O-ring. This can be quite a fiddly job, particularly if you're trying to do it in front of the camera. It's got to go inside the internal groove. So I like to put my finger inside and push the seal between my finger and the inner edge and, and help it find its way into the groove there. You can usually get most of it in. Once you've got it in enough, you can just push your finger down and, and push that O-ring the last bit. The next part is the barrel. You'll feel it touch the O-ring and then you just got to slide it on through. Next is the spacer washer. This is what holds the spring washer and the valve washer central and it sets the gap between the top of the barrel and the non-return valve. Next is the wavy washer. You want to do this with a non-magnetic tool. You also got to make sure that that sits down in the middle. As you can see, that's not. I'm just going to centralize that with the pick. The sprung washer wants to go in with the arc facing up. Now the valve washer, that sits on top of the sprung washer. It has to be central and it can come adrift. So when you put the one-way valve in, you have to make sure that it's sitting on the spacer washer and that the other two washers are central underneath it. This is the sealing washer that comes in the kit. Every time you rebuild the brake pumps, you'll replace that chamfered washer. Just showing you how it seats on the bottom of the adapter there. It holds down the one-way valve and seals the top. That's everything assembled from the top. So now we go underneath. I, I like to look down the middle of the pump there and shine a light down there. And you can see whether everything's been assembled correctly. If there was something sitting off, you'd be able to see. So now the spring goes in, the main spring. That's the adapter for the piston. And the piston, then you've got to line it up and slide it down the barrel. 
lastly, you've got to push that down so that you can put the circle in. That's it, all built up, just the O-rings to go on the outside. These are for the shroud. So, in the next video, I'll show you how we can test these pumps on the bench. A simple test just to make sure you've put everything in correctly. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and we'll do our best to answer them. And I'll catch you on the next video.